These are Unifix cubes. And as you can see, they come in many different colors. And they're the same size and shape. You can connect them like this to form stacks. And right here I already have a stack of 10, so it'll be easy to count later. Or you can separate them and use them individually. Unifix cubes can be used in many different ways across different grade levels. Some of these ways include sorting by color, comparing numbers and stacks, modeling addition and subtraction, as well as modeling multiplication and divis division. Today I'm going to focus more on how you can use these Unifix cubes in the fourth grade classroom across two different domains. The first domain is operations and algebraic thinking. With this, students can use cubes to find factors. So let's say we have 24 cubes. Here's our two stacks of 10 and four more. Students can use these cubes to create different groups. So let's say they have 24 groups of one. So they'd individually put all these cubes out. Just like this. Okay, that took a little bit, but as you can see, we have 24 individual groups. And they can also say that they have one group of 24. Students can then also find that if they have two groups of 12, So here we have two groups of 12, and we see that 2 and 12 is also a factor of 24. And of course they can do the same thing with 4 and 6. So they can have 4 groups of 6, or 6 groups of 4. Another domain that these cubes can be used for in 4th grade is numbers and operations fractions. Where students can use these cubes to help them add fractions with the same denominators. Say we have two ninths, which is represented by two pink cubes for the numerator, and seven green cubes to complete the whole, which looks like this. Plus five ninths. So again we have five pink cubes to represent the numerator. And then four green cubes to complete our whole of the fraction, which is nine. So here we have Two ninths plus five ninths. So here students will see that when we add same denominator fractions, we just combine the numerators. So we take take all of the pink cubes, which is two plus five, and we combine them to get seven. And then we realize that we need two more cubes to complete our whole of nine. So we'll add two green cubes. And our new fraction is seven ninths. So from this we know that two ninths plus five ninths is seven ninths. And that's all I have for you. These are just a few of the many ways you can use the Unifix cubes in the classroom. I hope you enjoyed viewing this video.